the London Brighton and South Coast Railway A1 Terrier Brothers. Something of a mascot for the Kenton East Sussex Railway. And for 40 years, passengers have ridden behind this one. Number 32678. As long as the Saturday gang has been going, we frequently serviced, seen to, and even driven this lovely old loco. Knoll has something of a varied history. After years with the London, Brighton and South Coast, Southern Railway, and nationalised British Rail, it was saved from the cutter's torch by Billy Butlin, and displayed at Butlin's in Minehead, where it shared the stage with the magnificent LMS Coronation class, Duchess of Hamilton. Having found its way to the Kentonese Sussex, Knoll became closely associated with the line. Now one of just two terriers remaining in its possession, it has seen regular service over the years. But in 2019, Knoll's boiler ticket expired, necessitating a complete overhaul. And from the very earliest stages, the Saturday Gang were involved in the operation. After cleaning out the loco's boiler tubes, we removed the boiler barrel and cladding. And when the boiler was removed, our volunteers needle gunned it clean before it could be serviced and tested. Finally, Noel was stripped and oiled down. Here, the air pump is strapped up ready to remove from the right hand side of the cab. Gradually, the heavy component is lifted clear by way of the A-frame hoist and lowered onto a trolley to be taken to storage until the time is right to reattach. Onto the cab. Two volunteers remove the lettering and numbers from the cab sheet. When the loco returns, it will no longer carry its British Rail number. Instead, wearing a pre-nationalised Southern wartime black livery and losing the number three. Another difference Noel will sport upon its return. The Isle of Wight Railway has kindly supplied a new bunker, which can be seen freshly attached to the cab. Incidentally, the Isle of Wight is to be the first place the local will visit during its trip around the British Isles. In early 2020, the first steam test is carried out on Knoll's boiler. This crucial stage of the process often determines the speed of completion. Mercifully, the test is successful. Back inside the shed, Noel's sandboxes are ground down. Removing years of rust, wear and tear, we bring the metal to a state where we can start painting it back. One of the Saturday Gang's most regular tasks is painting. Far from merely aesthetic, a locomotive's paint protects it from the elements. The process is protracted and multi-staged. From the motion to the piston rods, every component gets multiple coats. What Tom's doing here, he's applying a finished coat of black gloss. Um, the amount of coats we, of paint we put on all of the parts of the engine, we put one coat of anti-corrosive primer, followed by an undercoat, we then sand that undercoat down and then apply a second undercoat, followed by a finished coat. And here the finished coat is clearly displayed on the running plate. Although interrupted by the first lockdown, the final finished coat is truly resplendent. Reflective, in fact. Lockdown strikes again. Volunteers can no longer travel to the shed due to COVID-19 restrictions. Work continues wherever it can, but it must be done in a secure environment.
May 2021. A familiar sound returns to the Kent and Sussex border. Noel is back, and better than ever. Restored to its wartime condition as promised, Noel hauls a two-coach special carrying Kent and East Sussex members to commemorate its return. This will be one of the last trips on Kent and East Sussex rails before traipsing off on its tour of heritage railways around the British Islands. Running about at Tenterden, the terrier backs onto the train to return down the line, past Rolandon, the Saturday game's base of operation where the majority of the overhaul took place. The very best of wishes to 2678 Noll. We very much look forward to maintaining the loco when we all come back. We hope you've enjoyed this brief coverage of Noel's overhaul. Thank you for watching The Saturday Gang.